We need to prove that cosine of angle A times cosine of 60 minus A times cosine of 60 plus A. That's given by 1 quarters of cosine of angle 3A. A. That's a very important proof. It will start from the left hand side. Now here what we'll do, we're going to multiply the entire expression on the left hand side with 2 and divide by 2. And going to rewrite it as half times cosine of angle A multiplied to 2 times cosine of angle 60 degree minus a times cosine of 60 degree plus a the reason why we're doing this because there is a standard formula to combine to convert this particular product of two cosine function as the sum of two cosine function so let's talk about that formula first so if we have two times cosine of angle a times cosine of angle b so that's given by cosine of the angle a plus b cosine of a plus b and it will be added to cosine of angle a minus b so let's use this particular formula now we will get half multiplied to cosine of angle a so we will have cosine of the angle so here we will suppose that this corresponds to angle a and this corresponds to angle b we're going to add them so we have 60 degree minus a added to 60 degree plus a and we will add it to cosine of 60 degree minus a and from it subtract 60 plus a this will give us negative 60 degree minus a fine now further simplification is going to give us half times cosine of angle a multiplied to so here we have negative a and positive a cancelling out leaving us with cosine of 120 degree plus cosine of angle now here we have uh, 60 and negative 60 cancelling out leaving us with negative 2a further simplification gives us half cosine of angle a multiplied to now cosine of 120 degree it has a standard value of negative one half and we know that cosine is a even function so cosine of negative 2a will be positive cosine of 2a meaning we have used the fact here that if we have cosine of some negative angle theta this will be equals to cosine of angle theta fine so now what we'll do we'll multiply to get negative of cosine of angle a added to half times cosine of angle a times cosine of angle 2a fine now again we have as a product of two cosine function so again we'll be applying this particular formula however we have the factor two missing so that's not a big issue all we have to do is multiply by two and divide by two so let's do that we're going to get negative one quarters of cosine of angle a so this will become the second term will become one over four so we're multiplying the denominator by four that means we'll also have to multiply the numerator by 4. So we get 2 times cosine of angle A times cosine of angle 2A. Okay, so this will be equals to negative 1 quarters of cosine of angle A added to 1 quarters. Now let's apply the particular formula. So here we have cosine of angle. So we'll add A and 2A. That's going to give us 3A. And add it to cosine of the angle. So A minus 2A, that's going to be negative A. This will be equals to negative one quarters cosine of angle A plus one quarters of cosine of angle 3A. Add it to one quarters of cosine of angle negative A, but we know that cosine is an even function, so we'll simply get cosine of angle A. So the last term and the first term cancels out, and that leaves us with 1 over 4 times cosine of angle 3A. So hence, we have successfully shown that uh, cosine of a times cosine of 60 minus a times cosine of 60 plus a that's given by one quarters of cosine of 3a